Welcome back. How sleep makes you a better entrepreneur. Now, this is a big part of the series I've been going on for American Heart Month. So link below, I've got why heart health matters to entrepreneurs. But in this video, I'm talking about not getting enough sleep and how that increases your risk of heart disease, which is not going to make you a better entrepreneur either. Click like if that's something you're into. into. All right. And what we found in the study linked in Healthline that people who slept fewer than seven hours per day had a 13% increased risk of death from heart disease. And people who slept fewer than five hours per night had a 61% higher risk of developing high blood pressure than those who slept seven hours. So these are two big health risks, death and high blood pressure, that you can avoid simply by getting more sleep. So here we're going to go over some risks and benefits of sleep and five tips to get more of it. Welcome. My name is Reggie. I'm the founder of Fit for Freelance, where I build adaptive business leaders through compassion health coaching. I'm smiling, but this is obviously very serious. I talk about health stuff all day and I'm always like, hey, be careful. This might kill you if you don't take better care of your health or eat healthier or get more active or get more sleep. So to me, I know this. I've been trying to tell you, here's some information that you need to know. There's a big part of vision which is a key part of the guilt-free process. So you know what the healthy feeling life of your dreams looks like, and that doesn't include a lot of extra medical bills or high blood pressure outcomes or heart disease risk or dying prematurely so you can't do anything that you love to do, including your work or hanging out with your family and friends. So vision, think about what the healthy feeling life of your dreams looks like. Leave it in the comments and think about it when it comes to your heart health. So also, beyond just the risk of dying, you can also improve your concentration and productivity with more sleep. This is a huge benefit. You can focus better. You can be more productive. You can knock out your tasks sooner on a tighter timeline without making as many mistakes. And then you can get on to other things that you enjoy doing, like more work or things that you enjoy doing out of work, maybe your hobbies, things you like to do. So just... If you like concentrating, get more sleep, just try it. A lot of times, like the attitude of entrepreneurs is like, I've said it several times, I can sleep when I'm dead. I can, you know, get to it later. I have so much to do. But if you aren't able to establish sleep in your pattern, like a reasonable amount, then you're going to run into health risks and it's going to affect your productivity, how effective you are in your job. And if you have a mission, vision, like if you're focused on a bigger purpose in yourself and you can't show up to it 100% as your best version of yourself, then that's a serious problem that you need to address. So think about getting more sleep. Other benefits of getting more sleep, it can help you maintain or lose your weight. So when I talk about building adaptive business leaders through compassionate health coaching, I want you to know that this process for your health habits, things that help you lose weight will usually give you more energy and confidence to do other things in your health and business. So I talk about weight loss on the show a lot because there's an easy search for people who want to improve something. Sleep is going to be part of that. Okay. Another thing, better workout recovery, sugar metabolism, immune function. There, the Healthline article is 10 benefits of sleep. There's countless benefits. So I just started lumping them together. But when you look at this, if you were trying to lose weight, you're going to want to have excellent workout performance, sugar metabolism, reduce your risk of type 2 diabetes, and immune function. Obviously, if you get sick, then that's going to affect your performance at work and in your workouts too. So it's just more great reasons to get more sleep. Here's another thing to think about. Poor sleep is linked to depression. You can talk to your mental health professional about this. This can go either way. So you can be more susceptible to anxiety and depression if you aren't getting enough sleep. And if you are having temporary emotional issues or chronic, you know, anxiety, depression symptoms, then that can affect your sleep. So it can go in a cycle and things can spiral out of control pretty quickly if you aren't mindful of your sleep. Similarly, you could get into a virtuous cycle if you are feeling emotional or you're having a hard time with your mental health and you focus on getting more sleep. That can be the first step into getting into a positive cycle. So you have whatever you need to improve your emotional state right? So poor sleep takes away that opportunity. Make sure you get enough sleep. All right, here's the next tip. Poor sleep increases accident risks. There was one in the Healthline article I talked about. It's similar to having a certain percentage of blood alcohol concentration. So that's not good, right? If you're operating a vehicle, if you're doing stuff with your hands, if you're working in some kind of factory or just like typing errors, right? So these accidents, errors, mistakes, 
can be damaging. You want to make sure that you are getting enough sleep so you can concentrate adequately and get what you need done correctly the first time without hurting yourself. Okay. <laughs> and then next, sleep affects your emotions and social interactions, the amount of sleep that you're getting. And that can cause you to isolate, experience loneliness, and that can contribute to burnout, which is a big thing I talk about in terms of stress management and excellent performance of your work. If you are burned out, then you're going to have a hard time concentrating or really doing anything. And so sleep is one of those factors. And it's not just sleep at that point, it's being able to set your priorities and boundaries so you have time to get to sleep, so you can relax when it's time to go to sleep. When you have an understanding of your work being separate from your life, like it's just part of it, it's not your identity, then that can help you sleep more readily, more easily, and then you get the benefits of getting more sleep. So these things are interconnected. If you like this kind of content, subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to you know, illustrate different parts of it so you can take confident ownership of your path to freedom and fitness. So setting priorities and boundaries can help you sleep and that can affect your emotions and social interactions and reduce your risk of burnout, right? I have the burnout assessment test link below so you can see where you are now. That's a free assessment. You might as well take it. All right. And also, if you need help setting your priorities and boundaries so they help you lead the healthy, fulfilling life of your dreams, like they build into it. So you're living that successful feeling day by day and you can go to bed at night or whenever you like to sleep, feeling like you had a successful day. Then the Health Confidence Club is a compassionate way to keep your promises to yourself and let your health support your life. That's linked below. I'd love to work with you on that. So let's get into these five tips to get more sleep besides joining the Health Confidence Club. Right. First one, get some activity early in the day. This one's really effective. I, I used this one this morning. I am um, re-engaging my health habits for myself. I woke up early to get a beach walk. And this is good because it makes me feel more relaxed throughout the day. And then I feel kind of tired getting into the night now. It also helped me go to bed earlier last night because I was like, if I want to get up at a, early enough, I need to go to bed early. So that is a great way to schedule your sleep so you get the results that you want and get some of those benefits we were talking about earlier. And you get your exercise in first thing. Tons of benefits of that. Don't get me started. Okay. Two, don't drink coffee after lunch. Coffee has a pretty long half-life. So it's kind of like if you drank half the amount sometime later, like a fresh batch of coffee that could cause sleep disturbance, keep you from falling asleep because you had too much caffeine circulating in your system. Not just coffee, but any caffeinated drinks, be mindful of what you're getting in there because that can cause you to sleep less. The third tip I have, dim your screens and use a blue light filter a couple, a couple hours before bed, tongue twister. So an app like Flux or you have night mode on your phone, blue light glasses can also help late at night. That way you don't have that bright blue light that can stimulate alertness and tell you like you're in the middle of the day. Like all these lights now are on a little bit late. I can't wait to turn them off. But if you dim your screens, you'll use a blue light filter that should help you get more sleep. The fourth tip I have for you, go to bed early enough to get sleep. That's what I was talking about earlier. And then if you think about it, it helps you when you're in bed, you are in a state where you're most likely to sleep. It's hard to fall asleep if you're up all night typing on your computer or doing other things for business or watching TV and an exciting, like, you know, thrilling TV show, right? Those things aren't going to help you get sleep. And then you have to process those later. If you are in bed, uh, relaxing, you have your bedtime routine. These are things that will help support your sleep so you can get closer to seven hours and reduce your risk of those other things. Click like if you like this video. And then the fifth tip I have, the last one is what you can watch next. Warning, is your sleep affecting your weight and health? I'll put that right here. This is one of the days in that seven day health habits challenge that's also linked below. So that's today's message. Make sure you get some sleep. As always, keep practicing. Peace.